Hello, and welcome to the toy shop. Today, I want to show how I am upgrading my mocap helmet. I feel my old one allows wobble and fit, and rides too low on the forehead for expressions. The adjuster in the back is also rigid. I want to make one that is lighter and tighter than the previous helmet. One that match moves to the head motion, and that allows more facial exposure for better mo capture. The idea is to use a budget that is cheap enough and easy enough for anyone to do for themselves. My previous one was a bicycle helmet that was restricted and rigid but still wasn't solid, making movement slow to eliminate as much wobble as possible. First, I will disassemble my old one. I thought of replacing the phone mount and arm, but found it is the best and and lightest for my needs. I looked on Amazon for the exact hinge that I am using here. I found a different one but similar instead. I will post a link to all the pieces in the description below. Here's the new helmet. It is flimsy, but I use them in all my metal working masks. I like the way it clamps without chin straps and it clamps tight, so I thought it was worth a try. I also like the rotation of the back strap that allows the helmet to clamp higher on the head for better exposure of the face. I will mount the arm on the left, so I am removing most of the knob pieces. I am leaving this piece on to help reinforce this area for mounting the arm. I am using the first big notch in the arm to mount it and placing the retainer nut back in place. Now I will connect the hinge to the arm to locate a proper mounting spot to anchor the arm. But first, I will undo this part of the headband so the hinge can be mounted directly to the main band. I will reconnect it later.
Using a push pin, I punch a hole through the main band for the screws of the arm hinge. Using the pointy tip of my tweezers, I stretch the hole a little for the screws to go in. The plastic should settle back on the screws and forming the threads of the screws, but I will use the backing plate of the hinge for security. The screws that came with the hinge are too long, so I replaced them with M2 by 5mm screws. 6mm might work, but I didn't have any to try, but 5mm worked just fine, so I will leave it. I am now putting the backing plate back on for the hinge to sandwich the main band in between the hinge and backing plate. Now, with the hinge mounted, I can hook the headband back together over the mount of the arm hinge. With the hinge mounted, it is time to reassemble.
If you find this video informative or helpful, please help me by following, subscribing, and tapping the bell to help others find my videos so I can help them as well. And that is basically it. I did add a ball mount so I can change the angle of the camera in all three directions, but it holds the phone in its protective case and follows the head in movement with no chin straps and showing more of the face. Thank you for watching.